and welcome everyone. My name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the fourth episode of Banyang, titled The White Elephant. Let's go ahead and get started. 1563 AD, year 13 of the reign of Banyang, king of Burma. The tiger rules the forest, but he is always hungry. It is the same with me as I look to the Thai kingdoms of the east. I have ruled for 13 years, but how am I the Chakavati if I am only king of Burma? Ayutthaya is the strongest of the Thai kingdoms. Her king, Chakravas, has defied me for too long. He encourages the rebellion of one of my vassals, the king of Lan Na. Even now, he sends his daughter to marry the ruler of the kingdom of Lan Shan in exchange for an alliance against me. But these schemes alone do not drive me to war. I know that Chakrapat has seven white elephants, a symbol of luck and divine favor. Already I hear the murmurs in the court. People with more spirit than sense whisper. That if I truly am the Chakravati, why would the Nats have blessed Chakravat with the elephants? I cannot allow this Thai king, nor the Nats themselves, to defy me. I will send my armies east, but they will not just bring war. I will send Buddhist monks with them to carry the word of my blessed Buddhist rule. God is on my side. Alright, our main objectives are to place a relic in each flagged monastery before the season ends. Oh no, it's a timed mission. Our secondary objectives are to recover Princess Thepkasatri's Thep Thep dowry, defeat the Nats, oh crap, convert Prince Ramuzwan and King Mekuti. Your hints tell us that the mountains are treacherous for large armies, you are therefore restricted to a 40 population limit, this is one of those levels, and can only construct palisades. Do not destroy buildings you will need, placing a relic in each city's monastery will give control, control of that city's buildings. When supported by monks, battle elephants are effective against even tough fortifications. Take care not to lose men to the Nat enchantresses, they become more powerful with every life they take. Bandits and tribesmen hide caches of looted treasures. Finding them will provide gold. Your scouts report that the Burmese have crossed three Pagoda Pass into Thailand. Prince Ramuzwan, uh, Ramuzwan leads the army of Ayutthaya in blue in the city of Sukhothai to the southeast. Converting the prince will drive his men to surrender. Ramuzwan's sister, Princess Thepkasatri, I'm so sorry for these name botches, is traveling to wed the king of Langshan. He, she carries with her a large dowry. The rebellious King Makuti of Lan Na in yellow rules the river city of Chiang Mai and the northern mountain city of Chiang Rai. Lan Na has few warriors but many monks. King Setha, Setha Tiroth of Langshang in Cyan rules Vientiane across the Mekong River. The city's bridge is well defended, but smugglers have been known to enter the city by another means. Ooh. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Bring the relics of the Buddha to each city to demonstrate my devotion. Oops, I clicked out by accident. Sorry about that. Okay, so we got ourselves a villager here, we got ourselves some skirmishers as well. And that looks like a treasure. We have recovered the spoils of bandits. We will make good use of this treasure. Okay. Scoop no Right, let's not rush this too much. We got plenty of time. Hey, 
Oh, nice. We discovered another elephant here. Let's kill off these few crossbows. Start going southwest here. Okay, monks with relics are kind of treated as different units, so the micro is going to be a bit strange here for a little while. And we'll see if we can sneak our way into the base here. Tongu warriors, I think. These guys are really nice. They're going to be immune to conversion, which is awesome. Let's have this buffalo scatter around a little bit. See what we can discover. Right, we have the Tungo Warriors beat out these Manganels. Lovely. Let's convert the Bliss Elephant. Stand these monks forward and start busting down the gate. Remizwan is blue, right? Yeah, Remizwan leads the army of Ayutthaya, so we should try to convert him if we can. I suppose in the meantime we can scatter around a little bit more with the water buffalo perhaps? Still got 600 years remaining. Alright, as soon as this gate is busted in, Let's just take this opportunity to scout around a little bit. Move our monks forward. And we want to convert the prince. Where is the prince? So there's elephants here, we gotta be careful of these. Oh, that's the prince. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, 
Okay, lovely. Let's pick up our relics. And drop this one down. And move these guys to the southwest. Let's bust down this gate, or this tower. Got a couple villagers here, nice. Start scouting this way with our cog. Guess we can trade. And in the meantime, we can scout out this little area to see if there's anywhere to go. We just lost a scout, I think. Unfortunate. I don't think it's worth it to research anything. I'm just gonna create a couple extra scouts here. Create a few elephants as well. Just got a pair of crossbowmen. Let's pick up this relic. And proceed in this direction. Okay, I don't want to go that way. That way looks suspicious. I want to check out back here to see if there's anything extra. Okay, lovely. There looks to be a path that's breakable here. We'll use the Belissa elephant to take care of them. This is why we convert Bliss Elephants. There's some Jaguars over here. Um, do I have an archery range here? I do. Right, we lost a few units, but nothing that we can't recover. I'm gonna see if I can cross somehow. Looks like there's another crossing here. Oh no. Okay, that looks like it was a patrol. Hopefully there aren't too many other patrols here. Fortunately, these Arambai seem quite strong, actually. Let's try to cross to this side, see what, what's up. Okay, that looks like something that I do not want to mess with. Let's try to rotate our group around. What are these, Royal Guards? Yeah, those guys look way too strong for us to deal with, and I don't think we're gonna be able to convert them. Let's actually build a couple transports here. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be able to transport across to yellow here. Have the prince move in. Got a few crossbowmen. We have a 
ton of units tucked back here too. I figured I, I did. I did remember we had a bunch of elephants. All right, we try to cross. Okay, we have another guy to convert as well. Is that a king? Interesting. Was that the king just there? Yeah. Okay, okay. So we keep trading. Well, I'll land a couple of monks over to convert the king then. Still have 450 years on the clock. We've actually hit our pop cap too, I just realized. Let's cross our villager back to this side. Okay, those guys are neutral, which means I do not want to unload my monks while that guy's in our presence. Let's have the cog follow them. Nice! Okay, so I guess now the number one question becomes, how do I get across? Okay, so those are the gnats. Let's start moving our fellows over this way. So 434 years, one out of four relics delivered. We still have another relic to deliver up here. Okay, awesome. So that was a pair of gnats down. We just got a lumber camp as well. Let's scoot our units up, have the trade cog go back to work. Have you come down here? Or rather come up here and do wood chopping, I guess. We just got two more Tongu warriors, which is great. Let's put another relic in here. Our last relic monk is all the way back here. Okay, we gotta be real careful. Okay, and while we're dealing with that, we can bring the rest of these guys over in this direction. Start scouting north to see how we can get into the city. 396 years to go. All right. Um, this one looks like we're gonna have to brute force it. I don't really see any alternatives. So let's gather all our fellows together. There's a ton of monks. A pair of cavaliers. That's unfortunate. Let's convert him back. 
No, 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 don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, just convert. Okay, we got him back, which is lovely. Let's try to pick off these monks if they're still standing out here. Lovely. No, run, 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 run. Run, get healed. Run, 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 run. Batter down the gate. This monk can chill out out here while we batter the gate down. Now that I think about it, we actually have tons of monks. Let's get our other transport ship up here. Uh, where's the Tungu Warriors? Let's get our Tungu Warriors up in here. Okay, nice. Let's start rolling our elephants in. Have these elephants tank the fire tower. Okay, these this pathfinding, come on. <laughs> we just lost a couple of monks there for no reason. I don't want to lose these Tungu warriors if I can avoid it. Get to the monastery. We still have 300 years left. Okay, lovely. So we still have... Plenty of forces. That's our last relic over there. Let's scout forward. Okay, the more pressing thing is to Okay, that's a lot of elephants. Back, 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 back. I want to avoid going this way if I can. I think a better way will be to land on this side. So let's do that. Yeah, I definitely don't want to fight all those elephants if I don't have to. Seems like if we have transport ships here, it'll be better suited for our purposes. Two hundred eighty six years. Let's do careening so we get more transport storage here. Yeah, 
And in the meantime, let's drop them off on this side over here. This looks like it's where it'll be closest to the city. And that's where the hint said we would have a back door, right? Uh, no, in the scouts, Lang Shang, bridge is ball, by another means. The bridge is ball defended. Yeah, so that's the, that must be the bridge. Right, let's get our transports all set up. Could do just a little bit of scouting here. Let's go on a tiger hunt. And as these transports get back, we can start loading them up. Oh, I don't want to trigger these guys. Two hundred fifty-two years remaining. That's a pretty decent chunk of time. We've got tons of monks. Do I have a monastery? I do not have a monastery, so I can't research monk text or anything. Right, one more trip ought to do it here. Let's do Bodkin Arrow and Armor Tech. And see if we can scout a path here. 230 years remaining. This must be the back entrance. Last shipment. Okay, 222 years. It's not plenty of time. Wait, these guys unloaded on like a wrong spot here, so they're stuck. Let's see, if there's an alternative place to drop these guys, I might use these two elephants as bait. Otherwise, I'm going to walk these two in. Anything up here to go check out. There's a bridge. All right, the path is a path here. Let's not have our scouts do anything rash. Let's try to have this elephant bait the forces out. Let's see if they react. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a sec. Whoa, 
Okay, let's try to sneak around the castle here. Hundred and eighty years to go. We're getting real close to the end though. Let's try for a couple conversions. Okay, walk forward, tank the tower fire. And just walk the monk forward. I think we're actually good to go. This should be the end. 160 years left to go. Let's not body block our monk. Come on, get in there. Very good. Well, did you see that? We just had like 10,000 of every resource. That's crazy. Nice. So overall, not too difficult. Um, I do think this little trick to convert the Yellow King was very helpful. Landing right here to convert the Yellow King. Um, converting the Kings seems to immediately turn all their units and all their buildings to your side. So that's, uh, that's probably the direction that you want to go. Um, otherwise, it seems like you'll be dealing with tons and tons of enemies. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's too much value in going this direction. There's patrols of battle elephants that we have to deal with. Uh, as well as what look, looks like more gnat enchantresses. I don't know what happens if you get the dowry or defeat the gnats. But truthfully speaking, I didn't need either of those objectives to, defeat the, to beat the mission. So... There's that. Resources are not in super, super high demand. And yeah, it looks like we get a few crossbowmen here. There's three royal guards. <laughs> There's Lilai here. Apparently Lilai is a royal guard. Who would have thought? Um... But yeah, it doesn't seem like this is really worth it. Skipping this direction also is not super worth it. There's an Enchantress here too. They're, they're in cahoots with the River Tribe. Yeah, this, this trick back here to break the tree and come across this little passage was really smart. We only had to deal with one uh, Hill Tribe patrol. Otherwise, by the looks of it, we would have had to deal with Way more stuff. There's a conquistador and an organ gun here. So it looks like some Portuguese, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, like look at look at all this stuff that we skipped. Being able to skip this stuff uh, was very helpful and gave us plenty of time to beat the mission. I think uh, I just happened to discover a lot of the sneaky stuff um, from playing so many of these levels. You kind of develop a sort of sixth sense for when a direction is going to be fortuitous for you or not. 
Uh, as soon as I crossed this bridge and I saw all those battle elephants, I was like, yeah, screw this. There's no way I'm dealing with all of that. Uh, instead, coming this back way was a great idea. We ended up only needing to kill a few units. And we did end up with 100,000 of just about every resource. Very few units lost, lots of units killed. We did a good job. Anyway, that was the fourth mission of Banyang, titled The White Elephant. My name's been The Clever Fool. Next time we will play the last mission called The Old Tiger. Man, that'll be a fun one. See you guys next time.